Hello, Mac Atram here and welcome to this particular piece. And today what I wanted to do was to talk about some of the common business questions that I get asked. And I'll tell you this, that most of our clients happen to be coaches, consultants, specialist experts in their field. And so some of the questions I often get asked are these. And so I wanted to share that with you. And hopefully it'll be of use to of, of use to you. Now, um, I teach a lot of these in our programs and our business boot camp. So if this means a lot to you, yeah, you might want to check out my business accelerator boot camp, which uh, is on babnow.com, babnow.com. And I run that four times a year. Uh, we've got one coming up very, very soon as well. Check out the website, babnow.com now.com let's get straight into it there's quite a few questions i, I want to tackle maybe 10 um there's a lot more than that but just 10 that may, you may be able to relate to and if you relate to any of these or you have any specific questions that keep coming up to your mind ask it in the chat as well and i'll make time to record an answer for you on that particular thing that maybe you were thinking about or a particular problem that you may uh, be going through or you just want answers too. So thank you again for tuning in. I really do appreciate you being part of the Business Success Club and really listening to these videos and watching these videos. I respect and honor your time. I know everyone is very busy. And so for you to take time to uh, watch this and get involved and make comments and like, I, I do appreciate it. So do follow, do subscribe, hit that bell icon so you are uh, notified whenever I do a piece like this. So let's get straight into it. One of the top questions I get asked is, how can I attract more clients to my business? How can I attract more clients to my business? Now, in order to attract a lot more clients to your business, then some things have to be in place. You've got to understand who your ideal client is. That is essential. Who are they? As, as much as, no, so much as to find out how old are they? How many children do they have? Do they have children at all? Where are they based? What do they work as? What's their job title? Which location do they live in? You've got to get very clear on that. And also understand primarily what are their problems? What are the challenges of their problems that they have going on that you may be able to hold, answer for them or help them with? And once you know that, you've got to understand, understand where are they? So where are they means? What platform are they on? How are you going to reach them? Are you going to do direct sales? Are you going to reach them on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter? It doesn't matter. Are you going to do cold calls? Where are they? And when you do come across them, what are you going to say? What are you saying in the marketplace consistently that draws your clients to you? So in order to attract more, more clients, you've got to answer these questions and much more. Now, that's one of the questions. Now, the other question we get often asked is, how can I increase my prices without losing clients? Right, so once you, a question like that says, actually, I know my value. And if you know your value and you know you should be, pay, be paid a lot more, how can you increase that price without losing clients? Well, I'm going to give you three things very, very quickly. There's a lot more to this, but one is you've got to learn how to communicate your value. You have a great deal of value. And unless the you're shouting about it, talking about it, and how do you communicate value? One, you can show testimonials, social proof, other people using your services who are getting these kind of results. The other way to increase your prices would be you could bundle some of the other services you have, the various other things that you offer into one big bundle, which maybe some of these will be online, doesn't take your time. And just because it's a big bundle, you can increase that price. The other way would be give them a test period, uh, a trial period where they can actually test you out, work with you for a period of time. And once they realize that actually this is what's working for them, then they know that your, your real price is this and they can start paying it. So that's very quickly, some answers there, but there's a lot more. And if I can help you with anything around pricing as well, just reach out to me. Uh, the other question we get asked is, how can I scale my business? How can I scale my business to reach more people? 
Well, if you want to scale your business, you have to understand this, that you must have the right foundation in place. And in my business bootcamp, I often talk in a, I talk about these six specific areas. One is you've got to know how to generate leads. So you've got to get better at marketing, whether it's you or an outsourced team generating those leads. The other second thing is to sell. You have to learn how to sell, L really learn how to close and convert clients when they come to you. And we teach that in my bootcamp. You have to now start putting a team together. If you want to scale, then there's only so many hours in a day. And so part of that foundation is, do you need an assistant? Do you need a team of people that can do the things that you were doing previously, but you want to maybe 5X your business, you want 10X your business, you want to scale, um, not necessarily incurring more costs, but because you've got something that works, put it's a small team together, a bigger team together to get to that level. The other thing to scale is that you've got to start using systems and processes. You've got to start systemizing your business, automating your business in key elements. The other thing is finance. Are you managing your money well? Now, if you're managing your money and cash flow is good and you've got good controls of finance, then you are ready to scale as well. Now, the number six, the number six, the big thing is have you have do you have the right mindset? Do you have the right attitude for someone who's ready to scale to that higher level than you are right now? So if you don't have that right mindset, then get yourself a coach, get someone who can support you to develop the right mindset, the right habits, so that you can then get to the level you're going, you want to really get to. Right, what's the other question? The other question is, how can I diversify my income streams? How can I identify, how can I diversify my income streams? Now, if you're a coach, consultant, or a specialist um, expert, that, that means there is something that you are doing that clients are paying for. And this is the stream of income you get. Now, there are maybe other people who want to work with you. So let's say, for example, you're working mostly one-on-one, -on -one, but you have a, a type of product or a service where you can actually educate some people who need your help. So could you provide some kind of mastermind, some kind of group coaching scenario where they come to you and you are now educating them one to many on this solution that you have. So that's one way of diversifying. Maybe create online uh, programs, online studies, online videos that people can study in their own time without you. Now, and if you have specialist knowledge in other areas, maybe create all these series and they can buy individually or buy as a bundle. So there's various ways you can diversify. And this is just a, a very, very short few. Uh, what else do we have? Um, people also ask the question, let me get my list here. How can I create a successful marketing strategy? How can I create a successful marketing strategy? Now, in order to create a successful marketing strategy, you remember the essence of marketing is to let people become aware that you exist, that your business exists, that your service exists. They don't know you. And so that strategy is about knowing who these people are who have a problem, a challenge, some kind of inconvenience, and letting them know that there is a solution, and that solution is you or your business or your service, and communicating it in an effective way how you can support them, how you can help them, using also, if you can, social proof. Use testimonials, uh, whether it's written or video, to show them that you can help. As I said, I go deeper into all of these areas at my business boot camp and some of our um, group coaching programs as well. Now, are you ready for some more? Are you ready for some more? Okay, num the number six, I think this is now, how can I improve my time management and productivity? Now, we've had lots of clients who are doing very, very well, but they, they, in order for them to make money, they have to work hard. So they find themselves working more and more and more hours. And so what does that lead to? It le eventually leads to burnout, leads to a place where something that you were enjoying, maybe you're not enjoying so much now. So how can you improve your time management and productivity? My, I can only talk from my point of view. Many years ago when I was working so hard and couldn't see the wood for the trees, 
And although making money, uh, what I realized is this, once you know why you are doing something, and so lots of people call it the mission or your purpose, once you know why you are doing it, then what I suggest to a lot of our clients is now focus on that mission, that purpose. And my mission, if you've never heard it before, is to inspire, educate, and empower people to live a life of joy, courage, passion, and purpose. And by doing that every single day, I'm very clear on what I'm supposed to be doing. So how do I improve my time management and productivity? Well, I focus on that. I focus on how can I do that better today? Now, by now, by chunking down, then I look at it, okay, who am I here to serve? So who are these ideal clients who would love to work with me, who have these problems that they try to overcome, whether it's trying to grow their business or grow their sales or improve their cash flow, have a better business, who are they? Find them and educate them, help them and show them how I can really help them. And so what I also do is I, I look at my yearly, my year, and I look at the time I have to be with my family, whether it's on vacation or doing things together. And that's what I call my big rocks. And then I chunk down in terms of all the other things that need to be done. So managing my calendar for the year, for the month, for the week, on a daily basis, on an hourly basis, allows me to control my time. Well, if time can be controlled, but it allows me to control my priorities and also become more productive because I chunk times when I'm doing certain things. Okay, so let's look at, go to number seven. I hope you're finding this of value. If you're finding this of value, put a comment in the chat box. Tell me what you think. Tell me your thoughts. What do you do? Because remember, this these are my opinions. These are my thoughts. This is what we I've helped thousands of business owners around the world to, to do as well. So, you know, I'm more than happy to listen to your thoughts. And again, if I can help you, reach out. Now, number seven, how can I differentiate myself from my competitors. Now, and I've got a series, a number of questions here which seem very similar. One is, how can I differentiate myself from my competitors? The other one is, how can I create a unique selling proposition? Um, that's similar, so let me answer all that together. Um, the other one is, how can I create, no, that one's different, that's more about brand. So let me answer these two questions together about, uh, differentiation from competitors and unique selling proposition. Now, when it comes to differentiate yourself from your competitors, the first thing you have to do, you have to understand what your competitors are doing. So do some research, find out what some of your closest competitors are doing. And if you don't know, then you've got to start asking customers you've worked with um, and also check out social media and who's talking, to, who's helping clients the same way you are then spend time finding out how are they providing their service and how are you providing your service find out the things that are in common and find out the things that you do differently that's important once you've done that now you can start getting ready to put a unique selling proposition in place a unique selling proposition simply says what makes you unique what makes you different what makes you different from everyone else in the marketplace or in your niche so for example, what makes my business coaching company, Mindspace Coaching, different from a lot of other business coaches or business coaching companies out there is we spend a lot of time helping people to overcome what's going on in their mind. So the limitations, the things that hold them back from uh, things that make them procrastinate, um, the fears that they have around sales or marketing. So helping them to really get in their mind mindset and attitude right so now they can hit the accelerator button and move forward that's a key differentiator and we have a sp specific way of doing that to help to get down into the deep subconscious mind as to what's those limiting beliefs that allow them and clearing those limiting beliefs so they can move forward what is unique about what you do um so what else do we have uh last couple of questions i think how can i create a strong personal brand that's a good question how can as remember th these questions are often are mostly from our client um, people who we, we've worked with or people who want to work with us who are usually coaches consultants experts 
specialists in um, in specific fields. Uh, we worked with myriad of people. You know, I've personally uh, worked with thousands of people in over 50 countries around the world, helping them to build their business, grow their wealth. So how can you create a strong, how can I create a, per, a strong personal brand is the question. One is you've got to be consistent in what you are doing. So consistent across all your social media, hire a, a good brand strategist. And that brand strategist will speak with you, ask questions, get to know who you really are. And so that everything you do becomes genuine, it becomes authentically you. And so if that's you, it will show in the colors that you choose, the, um, the stories that you tell, the people that you start working with. And so it, brand is not just about your logo, but it, it, it also entails all the other facets that make you become very attractive to a certain niche of people. Now get a personal brand, a, a branding specialist who can help you to get clear on what that is. So you can be consistent, you can be professional, and you can be authentic and attract these the right clients um, into your business. Now, what else? How can I create a, a successful business model? Now, this is a good question. How can I create a successful business model? Now, for those of you who think, what's a business model? Well, a business model is simply, how am I going to make money in my business? How am I going to make money? Now, if you're a coach or a consultant or an expert, then there are various ways you can make money. And, and however, there are various services you can also um, offer. Essentially, at the core of it is who are your ideal clients and what is it they really, really want? If you understand that and understand what they want, there's something you want to, you'll, you'll give them, that, which is the solution. But when you understand what they want, because they've got this problem, that challenge, this obstacle, whatever's going on for them, then you can create a core service that answers that. And around that core service, you can have other advanced programs, other advanced services that will help them to get the result they want much faster. Now, every single service will have its own prerequisite pricing. And that pricing has to be related to the value that you are going to provide. Now, getting the business model right, getting your branding right, getting your USP right, all these things, it, it's hard to do on your own. But if you need help, then look, myself, my coaches are available to help you or come to my business accelerator bootcamp, which is um, babnow.com. Check it out there. And finally, one more. How will you make money? So, no, I think I've answered, I think I've given you all of them. I, was, I thought there was one more there. So if you want to make more money consistently and effectively, then get it. And you, you, you're struggling, maybe. And it's the beginning of the year. Reach out to me. Send me a, a direct message. Uh, let me see how I can support you. Uh, or go to babnown.com and, and see if you can get to our, our business boot camp where I'll go in more in depth into all these areas. And it is a boot camp. It's not a lecture. And at the boot camp, you actually get to work on your business so you can move forward. Mac Hatram here. Thank you for tuning in. Leave a comment, uh, like, share this with your colleagues, um, your friends, your associates, and also subscribe to the channel. We are looking at growing this channel. And by you subscribing and saying, yes, it means that people want this value and I want to give a lot more as well. So what I'm aiming to do here is once a week, give you lots of valuable content and once a week, give you an um, interview an expert and that expert can bring their own value, their own opinions, their own thoughts on things as well. So Mac Achram, uh, let me hear from you. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.